Uh, good afternoon uh, from Bob's Barn Workshop. You guys probably have seen this adult mini bike, I call it, because it's big enough for me and I weigh 220, that I've been working on, camo, got the clutches and brakes and all that stuff working, uh, welded up some new mounting plates, some splash guards on the front here so that the mud won't fly up onto the engine. Uh, did the same in the back so it doesn't fly up in the clutch, whatever. A little bit of fancy painting. But I wanted to put a headlight on it. And I got thinking about if I needed a headlight, I needed a battery pack. Because this uh, engine does not put out any voltage. This is a Predator 212. It doesn't have a generator. Or any coils to do so. So I went on eBay and I started searching around. And I searched on Amazon. And I came up with a little headlight made by Vectrogen. Victogen, Victogen. Okay, so the thing is like two inches square, just clamps on your handlebars, and you think, what's that wimpy little thing gonna do? Well, I'm telling you, this thing is like a car headlight, and it's really cool because the battery pack it just uh, straps onto the frame somewhere, and it charges via USB. So let me get that hooked up, and I'll show you how. Uh, party it is. So what I'm going to attempt to do is just figure out the best place to strap this battery on when I go to use it. They also give you a little tiny uh, rear brake which is brighter than Hades 2. I'm going to just strap that onto the side somewhere. You can make it blink for safety. But as I was saying, this uh, battery pack, you just uh, strap around your frame like that. And uh, I'm guessing they probably, yeah, this looks like a good way to run the wire. Pop the wire on. Now, it's giving me a full battery charge indication. And I'm going to shine it on my furnace over there. That's low, medium, and high. Now, the barn lights are on, so I'm going to turn the barn lights off and just let the daylight shine in. And let you see the brightness of this little sucker. That's low. And low would probably be best for most of the time. Low, medium, and high. Now on high they say it'll run two hours, on medium it'll run four, on low it'll run eight. So I don't plan on being out in the woods that many hours, but if I'm up at my tree stand or something and it gets dark and I, I'm working on a deer, actually I can drive this around and point it at the deer to do some field dressing. I can turn on my blinky red light for safety so nobody shoots at me. Uh, I really like it, and it's absolutely weighs pretty much nothing. But, I'm going to turn the lights back on. What I want to do is figure out a better way to mount it, because right now it's kind of flaky. It's not, well, I guess it is pretty solid, and it doesn't aim pretty far down the road. But I was thinking of just adding a piece of, I've got some, uh, thick wooden dowel right here so I can mount it right down there out of the way. It's kind of safer up on the handlebars. Maybe I'll just let it ride for a while. It'd be nice because because of this mount I can't put it in the center. That's what the problem is. The uh, handlebar bracket. If those were just saddles, which I guess I could cut them off into saddles and mount it right in the center. Maybe I'll just do that. Just take that on the bandsaw. That's just aluminum. And hack it. But I hate to do that and reduce the strength of my bars. For right now, I think I'll leave it. But I just wanted to show you guys that. I think that's a pretty cool little product. It'll go on your bicycle for uh, you cyclists. And uh, it weighs nothing. All right, guys. we got another video to do here. I'm going to mount this tire up. All right, guys. Well... As an afterthought, I got thinking about that headlight mount again, and what I actually ended up doing is, like I said, I have a piece of one-inch hardwood dowel, 
and I just drilled, I cut it to length of course. And then I uh, use these short, they're only like five eighths, three quarters of an inch long. Number 12 screws, they're really tight. Drill the pilot hole and clamp the light right there. So now it's completely out of the way and we're all set. Now I end up, I may end up putting a uh, luggage rack on this someday, having some kind of mount to put it here. And actually I've seen them come off the back from mining, mounting to these brackets and out and actually down into the end of these holes. So, and actually I saw a guy make it out of half inch plastic PVC and a bunch of T's and 90's and it was really stiff and cheap and light and he could remove it with wing nuts. So if I do that, I'll have to come up with another way of mounting this, but for right now, this is fine. Actually, I could end up mounting it on the front of the luggage rack. But it's nice because, as I said, I'm a hunter and I want to throw, you know, ropes and maybe a coat if I don't want to wear the coat. I was actually trying to figure out some way of putting a a gun scabbard on this, but that might be difficult. I'd have to probably put it vertical. And that would be fine. My my one little rifle is pretty small, but I can sling it over my shoulder too. So, and there's the tail light on the back. And uh, as I said, you can set it up to blink. The whole headlight set ended up being uh, about twenty five dollars shipped. So there's my headlight, that's just on low, that'll help see me through the dark woods and be seen. A lot of these trail riding places, if you get stuck out after dark, you're required to have headlights. So uh, alright, that's enough for this video, and I'm going to update that tire video, I'm going to put bead seal on it.